Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is a requested video that I get a lot, but never made because I didn't want to put the information out there because I wasn't sure if Garmin would put a stop to it. But based on another question that I was researching for somebody else, it seems they pretty much don't care. So what is the question? Well, if you read the title, you know why you're here. But for those who just clicked without looking, it is how to move a vehicle from one Garmin GPS to another, let's say you downloaded something from the Garmin garage on an older GPS model and you want to move it over to your new GPS model. In this case, uh, normally people are asking how I got the X-Wing graphic as a map icon. So this is going to be how to do that. Step one is you're going to take your old GPS. In this case, I'm going to use the new one because I've already done this, but we take our old GPS, and then you're going to plug it into your computer as if it was a external hard drive. Now, you are not going to use the Garmin Express application that you probably have on your computer to update your maps. Now, based on the peripherals that you have on your GPS, in this case, I have a micro USB. You will need a micro USB cable. Some of the older models use a mini my uh, mini USB, so just pay attention and then just grab the right cable and plug in your GPS. Once you plug in your GPS, you may notice that the Garmin Express will automatically pop up if you have an update or even if you don't and your computer is set to automatically open with it. In this case, my NuviCam does have an update, which I will do after recording. So you don't want to use the Garmin Express app. What you want to do, and this depends on your computer, whether you're a PC or a Mac, and what operating system you have, you want to come over and get to your file explorer. Now again, based on your computer, that may be in a different location. What we're going to then do is we're going to come down and find our GPS. Yours might will be called something different. It will not be called the NuviCam unless you're using a NuviCam. You then open your NuviCam or GPS. In my case, I chose to use the NuviCam because I have three possible areas that you can see. And I wanted you to see all of these so that you have a better idea of where you should go. In this case, I have a memory card for my dash cam. I have internal storage and I've got a memory card which I've added so that my map updates can go here. You want internal storage. So you double click on that to open it and then you'll see all of these file folders. You'll notice one called vehicles right here. Double clicking on that will allow you to see individual cars. So here you can see the X-Wing and you can see the TIE Fighter. They are also in this .srf file format. So unless you have the proper codec, you will not be able to view these on your computer. But this is the easy part. If you want to grab all of the vehicles, you would just copy this folder to your desktop, or if you have multiple ports on your computer, you can have your other GPS plugged in, navigate to the GPS and then internal storage and copy this folder into your new GPS. If you just wanted a singular item, or in this case two, I can just highlight the two that I want and I can right click copy, or I can drag them to my desktop and then put in the new GPS and drag those over. Now, part of the reasons I held off on doing this is because I was concerned that Garmin would make this difficult to do, but what I've noticed is the map data is not here. So they've made that difficult to, uh, to change. You have to put your GPS into like developer mode. You have to do some tweaks to your computer in order to actually see the files. So vehicles, I think, is actually safe at this point. So once you copy this folder or the individual uh, vehicles over to your new GPS, you will then have set X-Wing from your old GPS to your new GPS. And this will work with anything that you've downloaded from the Garmin Garage directly onto your GPS. So I have been Wanderer001. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.